This is ICASTnews.com, live and direct from the United Nations headquarters in New York City in North America. And this is Haley's Comet. Haley's Comet is where we look at the United States Ambassador to the United Nations, the spokeswoman for the foreign policy of the United States of America under President Donald John Trump. Look at this fresh breeze of diplomacy. Watch her develop on an international stage as a foreign policy expert, spokesperson, and articulator of America to the world, at least as seen through the United Nations. Her challenge now is to find a balance in discussing the newest country in the world, South Sudan, where the United States has poured in millions, maybe even billions of dollars, along with other countries, and yet watched corruption, corrupt leaders, misunderstanding, mismanagement, take the monies and make this country that the world had so many hopes for a war zone. The Security Council meeting about South Sudan is discussing the tentative ceasefire that goes on there. But here's the challenge for Haley in this particular arena. She has been a wolf biting at the heels of corruption of all kinds at the United Nations. That's probably a very good thing. But in this newest poor nation in Africa where corruption is endemic, she can't back away from American involvement. They need support. America has a long commitment to this new nation. So how is she going to balance making strong remarks but finding a sharp way to suggest that the Security Council act to better the situation which has been deteriorating in South Sudan, even though de jure there is a ceasefire in the civil war, but de facto people are still shooting each other up. Let's go into the Security Council and take a listen to Nikki Haley on South Sudan. That was pretty interesting, although no fireworks there, nothing that's going to make headlines. And in fact, maybe part of the problem is that as little as Americans are interested in foreign affairs, South Sudan does not register anywhere on their interest meters. As is normal at the United Nations, the ambassador in the Security Council read every word of her statement but she's getting better at adding inflection. Somebody is helping her write crisp and good speeches. And this one, while nothing special, no flash, probably won't even make a history of Nikki Haley or her biography, is indicative of somebody who's mastering the workaday world of being the representative of one of the superpowers. In the discussions, Ambassador Haley read her good statement, made sensible critiques and criticism, pledged American support for furthering peaceful development in South Sudan, did not talk about taking any money away from them or punishing anyone, and didn't get any, didn't get into any arguments with other people in the room. We'll give this performance a B-. minus For iCastNews.com, live and direct from United Nations headquarters in New York City, for Haley's Comet, I'm Jonathan Sanders. <laughs>